Don't go from <laughs> Part fixed up, part Part country. homely. Homely, yeah. Because I don't we, work, right? we get back from eating out and then you just throw some sweats on. Hey, come over here and check these nests. I put I put the sweats on because my stress. You know I'm dying for some eggs. I know. I know. I, I fed you guys. Huh? Hmm? I just got water, water, and pick on that water. I got fell and busted my butt. Did you? Come on, please get some eggs. We're ready. How long does it take to get eggs, guys? Let us know. There you go. Oh, man, orange ones? Oh, they look just like um, beer pong bowls. <laughs> man. No, no eggs nope, yet. Not yet. No, I'm sorry, but... Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, back to the daily grind again. So today we're going to be tackling baseboard and trim. And I mean, everything needs baseboard and trim. Everything. The whole house. I've already started a little bit. Over here, this is the way I want to do it. I'm going to turn this light on real fast for you guys. Sorry, still trying to get used to the, the camera thing. But So, right here as you can see, I lined up. Usually you just take the trim all the way down. I decided to make it where it looks like it's running all the way around. And then up. I still got to caulk that area, so I just did this is the only part of the house I've trimmed, except for that piece of sole laying down. And then there again, running around to there. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I won't be able to do like all day long because my back, my back can only handle so much, but I'll try to put a little bit of footage here and there. Like I said, I've got this piece going on so far. See my 45. And it's gonna run up, obviously, and it's gonna. I just want to keep. I want. I want it to keep on looking like it's never stopping, like it's never ending. It's gonna take some extra time to do it too. On top of that, because it's not easy to match up the angles and so on. But it'll be fun. Like I said, um, when I get to more open areas, I will actually like show you a little of how I do it and everything. But for now, I'll be back to show you some progress. Thanks. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I really, really appreciate it. I know Misty does too, that um, you guys have been watching and everything. I appreciate it if you guys will also subscribe and like some of the videos as well. Um, we're trying our best to come up with interesting content for you guys. We know right now the past videos haven't been the most exciting, but uh, some of my favorite videos, honestly, isn't much different. I mean, they just, they're taking care of their daily grind and um their homestead so again um i really appreciate it though i appreciate the views i mean it, it's great it feels like we're doing it for a reason too you know but anyway i'll get back to you so i started there because we're my goal is, is to try to get i do have some touch-ups to do so if you guys want to zoom in and critique me um what do you guys normally play, normally do like with like the little nail marks? Like, I mean, what is it usually the, what's usually the, the strat on that? Let me know in the comments below if you guys don't mind, please. I'd really appreciate it. And then I'm guessing um, my walls aren't perfectly straight, which no one's really is. So I guess I put caulk along there, I guess. Again, let me know in the comments below if you don't mind. So, yeah, that's where I'm at so far. And I'm going to keep chugging along. This stuff is fun, let me tell you. 
Got these little cheap little angle fires. They have actually came in handy to help go around the inside and outside corners. They have helped. But yeah, this, so this here, I think I've said in the last video that this is an add on this room here. And um, the way they did it, I don't understand, quite understand it. Like, there's not two by fours running, like, running boards or um, band boards. I'm not quite sure that they call on the bottom of the walls. It's just a two by fours, like, in the rest of the house. But here, they're, like, spread out, like, going down. So I gotta use a stud finder to make sure I can actually bite into something with the nail gun. But yeah, this house was very was done very uniquely. I guess it's a nice way of putting it. Yeah, don't quite understand why it works that way, why they've done it that way, but I don't know, gotta work with it. We're gonna stop there for now and go back on the other side of the wall. But Misty still needs to get the corner. She still needs to repaint the corner a little bit more over here. We can see where the color's shining through. I hope you can hear me. I'm not quite sure if you can or not, but, but yeah, I, I look at the wall. Look how bold the wall is. Um, the theme of the kitchen and living room that like it all ties together. Yeah, it looks like you have a kind of a cloudy effect going on over there. I know, <laughs> and I don't know if it shows up on the film or not. But. Uh. Yeah, like that over there does, but yeah, I just, I already got new multiple layers on here. I'm getting ready to do the corners so it can be ready for your baseboards. Yeah, so my nail gun gets here. You did order the one off Amazon? Not yet. Oh. I'm about to right now. I told, yeah, told them about the door. The door. Oh. oh, no, Beth, they're about me having to repaint this, which is no big deal. Maybe we should rehearse this stuff before we air it. All right, ah, 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 ah. Sit. Lay down. Sit. Riley, sit. Okay, stop. Stop. Shake. Nope. Nope. Sit. <laughs> 